This is a video of sketching rational functions. Here's the warm up. Uh, the horizontal asymptote. Y equals zero, nothing added or subtracted here. Vertical asymptote, if I make this a three, makes the denominator zero, so X equal three, and I can see here on the graph, X equal three is a vertical asymptote. And then uh, negative infinity to three, and there's a break in the graph, and then three to infinity. Or we could say uh, all reals, except x equal 3, and the range is starting at the bottom of the graph and moving up, so negative infinity to 0, and then 0 to infinity, or we could say all reals, except y equals 0, and increasing uh, intervals the same as the main negative 3 to infinity or negative infinity to 3 let me say that again negative uh, infinity to 3 and 3 to infinity and this is never decreasing so as we move left to right the graph is always uh, increasing slide 2 uh, Adding or subtracting to the rational expansions, move the graph up or down. Adding or subtracting the x in the denominator, moves the graph up, uh, left or right. Uh, putting a negative, a negative in the numerator. Reflects the graph over the x-axis. a negative in front of x in the denominator reflects the graph over the y-axis. functions are in these forms here. Uh, the ske sketch the graph, you make the vertical asymptote at x equal h and the horizontal at y equal k. And then uh, positive 1 over x looks like number 1. The negative of it reflects the graph over the x-axis. And then 3 is 1 over x squared. If I do the negative of that, reflects over the x-axis. And then four, the horizontal asymptote is right here. Y equal one. The vertical asymptote would make that uh, zero, X equal one. So what we're going to do first is take this line segment tool and at Y equal one. So let me make it orange, the asymptote orange here. Y equal one. I'm going to draw a dashed line. which is not part of the graph, it's just the asymptote. It's going to help me uh, make the graph itself. And then x equal 1 is the vertical asymptote. So along x equal 1. I'll make a dash line at x equal 1. And then I could substitute values in for x here. So I can substitute a 0. Then I would have 4 over negative 1 is negative 4, plus 1 is uh, negative 3, so 0. 
negative 3. Let me make the graph blue. 0, negative 3 would be right here. If I plug a 2 in, then I get a 5. If I plug the 3 in here, that 4 over 2, which is 2 plus 1 is 3. So then I, I'm going to use my uh, pencil tool here and follow along the asymptotes to a graph. So I can get a steady hand here. It's, it's a little wobbly, but. So I get this branch here. And the way I could do that is look at slide three. It's a positive one over X uh, is the parent graph. So you get uh, branches in quadrant three and one. This is in one, but moved uh, over and up. So in quadrant three or down here is the other branch. Follow along the asymptotes here. And then the domain is negative infinity. Comma one and then one to infinity or you could say all reals except x equal one and then the range is negative infinity Uh, to one and one to infinity or else except black one increasing so this is an uh, NA it's never increasing and decreasing, same as the domain. And then here, the horizontal asymptote one is added, so y equal 1, the vertical asymptote, x equal 2. So let's go ahead and draw the asymptotes in at y equal 1. I'm going to put a dash line. And then x equal 2. And then if I wanted to plot some points, plug a zero on here, you get uh, one half plus one would be one and a half. So zero, one and a half. And then over on this side, this branch here, if I plug in a 
one, two, three. We get uh, negative one plus one is zero. So three, zero. And then follow along the asymptotes here. So negative graph. is two increasing branches, one up here, the parent graph in the second and fourth, and then we're just moving this uh, right to and up one. So the domain Is negative infinity to two and then two to infinity in the range negative infinity to one. to infinity or I could say all reals except x equal 2 and then this would be or all reals Except y equal one increasing both branches are increasing so same as the domain and decreasing it's never Decreasing so NA uh, example three horizontal asymptote negative three vertical asymptote x equals zero and then let's go ahead and draw those x equals zero is the y axis here. Three horizontal and then uh, so one over X squared graph looks like this here you get the pencil so positive 1 over x squared the right branch is going to be increasing half so if I plug the negative 1 in here uh, would be negative two, it's right here. And then the symmetric point would be right there. So, it goes like this here. Ah. It's hard to keep my hands steady for the, the vertical portion, oops. I want to go across the asymptote here. I want to go along the asymptote. So I'm going to cheat here a little bit and 
like this. Now use the pencil. infinity range is negative three to infinity increasing so the left branch is increasing negative infinity to zero and the right branch is decreasing zero to infinity. All right, think about this graph. So I get y equal one over x is the parent graph. Then we want to move it right five. So you do x minus five and up to so plus two so it should be y equal one over x minus five plus two number eight uh, use uh divide these polynomials here so i can use synthetic division since this is x to the first and this is Coefficient is 1, so I put a 5 here, and 2, negative 9, bring down the 2, multiply, get 10, and then 1, so this is 2 plus 1 over x minus 5, so if we wrote the equation, f of x, equal 1 over x minus 5 plus 2. Same equation as the previous slide. show you dividing here what that would look like let's use long division x squared plus one divided by x squared so here you get one and then subtract so you have uh, 1 plus 1 over x squared. So the new equation show my work here and then erase this so we can graph the horizontal asymptote y equal one vertical x equal zero so x equal zero is the y axis
in like a one. And it's the horizontal acetone. So if you plug in a 1 here, you get a 2. So here's the graph blue, 1, 2. Same with negative 1, you get a 2. Remember, I'll draw the branches in here now. to zero. And zero to infinity. Or all reals. Except x equals zero. And the range is one to infinity. Increasing, the left branch is increasing. We go infinity to zero. The right branch is decreasing. Zero to infinity. And then ten. Horizontal asymptote y equal to. Vertical, x equal 5. So, dash line at y equal 2. Asymptote at x equal 5. So if I plug a 4 in here, get 5 over negative 1, which is negative 5, opposite, positive 5, so 4, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 6 would be negative 5 plus 2 would be negative 3, 6, negative 3, and then you have this here. So you have an increasing branch right here. Let me undo that and just do it freehand here. And so, then over here, negative 
negative infinity to the five. And five to infinity. Range negative infinity to two. Two to infinity. Increasing. Negative infinity to five. And five, five to infinity. And this is NA. It's never decreasing. Trying to divide this first. So negative three here. And one and four. So this is one plus one over x plus three. around here. And vertical odds of x equal negative 3. Let me go ahead and erase this here. Plug a zero in, you get one and a third. So right here, ah, uh, undo that. Increasing is NA. Decreasing, same as the domain.
And this one, horizontal asymptote, y equal 3, vertical, x equal negative 4. So y equal 3, horizontal asymptote. X equal negative 4, vertical. So if I plug a negative 5 in, I get negative 1 plus 3, which is a 2. And if I plug a 6 in, or negative 4 in, let me say that again, plug a negative 3. Get to again. So I want to draw in the x squared graph. So branches are going to go like this here. Ah. Negative infinity to negative four. And negative four to infinity. Range is negative infinity to three. Increasing. This branch here, negative four to infinity. And decreasing in this branch. Negative infinity to negative four. 